as you can see, we've got sharp vertical walls at all termination points so that our mortar goes in. We're not going to feather edge uh, finish our repair at any point. But we do recommend priming uh, whenever you're going to be using the armor hide mortar to ensure we're going to get uh, a very good bond. This would be our primer set. This is a one gallon kit of primer. You mix A and B together, you prime out the uh, area to be repaired, and then uh, you would go ahead and apply your mortar to a wet surface. So you want that primer to be wet, you do not want that primer to dry. In this particular case, we're not going to mix up a whole gallon of primer for one small repair. What we'll do instead is we're going to go ahead and use the liquid from the Armor Heart kit to do our priming for us. So, when we open our, our Armor Heart kit, what we are going to find one gallon container of liquid epoxy resin, one quart container of liquid epoxy hardening agent. These are all pre measured, so we don't have to measure anything to mix this kit. Bottom of the pail, we have all of our aggregate that we're going to be blended in. Again, pre measured. Also within the kit, Technical data information, installation instructions, as well as SDS information. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this pail for our mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer our sand to another pail. Have this one ready for us when we are ready to add in our aggregate. You'll notice neither of these containers are completely full. However, this is a pre-measured amount of resin to be used with the pre-measured amount of uh, aggregate in the bucket, and that's going to provide you with 540 cubic inches of repair mortar. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use our paint mixer. We're going to go ahead and add our hardener right into our resin. for about a minute and a half. As you can see, I'm trying to make sure I get all of the hardener out of the can to be mixed with the resin. Once we've confirmed that we've thoroughly mixed our two liquids together, If we're ready to apply our mortar, we'd go ahead and pour this container into the larger container and add our aggregate. But for now, what we're going to do first is pour off a small amount of liquid and use this as our primer. I've got a throwaway paintbrush, small amount of liquid. What we're going to do is we're going to paint the surface we're going to bond the mortar to. Okay, once we've completed the priming process, we want to make sure that we have no puddling. We don't want the, to high build this primer, we just want to wet uh, the contact surface. The remaining liquid we're going to go ahead and throw into our bucket and mix in with the rest of our aggregate. We really didn't use very much of the liquid out of this kit, um, so I really don't need to be too concerned about backing some of the aggregate out, as I mentioned earlier, that this is all pre-measured kit. Uh, but as I, as I mentioned, a very small amount of liquid was used for priming purposes. So we're going to try to get all of the aggregate into this kit now. In some cases, if you use a lot of this liquid, you pull a lot of the liquid out of the kit, you may have to back some of the aggregate out as well. Okay, so we've got our liquid in our bucket. Now we're going to go ahead and add our aggregate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to small, uh, add about a, a third of the bucket into the liquid. Go ahead and blend that up. Make sure I've wetted out all the aggregate, then I'll add another third, same thing, and then I'll add the final amount of the aggregate into the, into the liquid to create my motor system. This will just help me ensure that I've wet out all of the aggregate that we need. 